Hi everybody, my name is Sarah Varen and this is my assistant Sweet Pea. Today we're going to talk about designing a character for your own story. I've made you this handy sheet to fill out with a lot of questions to help you learn more about your character. First, what kind of creature is your character? It's probably something that you like, or since you are going to have to draw it yourself, something or someone that you like to draw. I love to draw Sweet Pea, so I've drawn an example of Sweet Pea on the sheet. You could start with your pet if you have one, or your favorite food if you want to make a food character. Then you'll need to know what are your character's personality traits. When you're writing a story, knowing these things will really help you figure out what kinds of situations will your character get into and how will he or she react. One of my favorite things to think about are who are your character's friends. This will probably be, again, whatever you like to draw. I like to draw animals, so if I'm drawing a sweet pea character, I might pick the obvious, like my neighbor's dog or a friend's cat, or I might pick something unexpected, like a jar of peanut butter or a flower. It's fun to draw food, and it's helpful to know as much about your character before you make your story, so you might also think about what is your character's favorite food. You'll for sure want to know what kind of home or habitat your character lives in, because this will definitely be part of your story. For example, does Sweet Pea live in a doghouse, or does she live in an apartment building? And does she live in a city like Brooklyn? Or maybe she lives on the moon in a space station? Knowing this in advance will also help you figure out your story. Of course, in order to draw your character, you'll need to know what kind of clothing does he or she wear. Does your character wear a cape? Or perhaps your story takes place in Europe in the 1600s and your character wears a neck ruff. Or maybe your character is not wearing clothes at all. This may be the case if your character is an inanimate object, like a food item, or if it's an animal, but probably not if it's a person. The last thing you'll need to know, which will help you write your story, is what are your character's hobbies. For example, if your character is a dog who likes to dig, then your character may be finding surprising buried objects. If you are drawing a mouse who loves to sew, then you already know that your mouse has a job as a tailor. The last item I have for you on the worksheet in the lower right corner is a small identification card, just like an ID card that you may already have for your school or a driver's license that you might get at the DMV. So fill in the information and draw your character's face in the little gray box. And there you go. If you know all these things about your character before you start writing your story, you'll have a big head start. Your story will practically write itself. So grab your pencil and a blank piece of paper and have fun. And in case you're interested in seeing some of the characters that I've made myself, here are a few of my books which you can probably find at your school library when it's open again. This one is called Robot Dreams. It's a wordless story about a dog and a robot. Obviously, I like dogs, so the dog was easy, but I never drew a robot before this, so I had to look at a lot of pictures of robots to figure out how to draw my robot. I finally decided to make it similar to, but not the same as, the robot in the movie Castles in the Sky, because there's a really kind and lonely robot in that movie who has a beautiful garden. This book is called Bake Sale, and it stars a cupcake and eggplant. This was really fun to draw because I'd never drawn food characters before. I really enjoyed imagining what kinds of different foods would hang out together. This third book is called Odd Duck, and it's about two ducks who seem very different at first, so I had to think about how to draw them differently. They're obviously both the same shape, because they're both ducks, but one looks very messy with colorful, unkempt feathers, and the other one looks very tidy with a fancy hat, gloves, and shoes. And this book is called New Shoes, and it takes place in a village near a tropical rainforest, so I thought of all the animals who live in a village, like pigs, chickens, and cows, and all the characters who live in a South, Amer a South American tropical rainforest, like jaguars, monkeys, and parrots. So, good luck making your own story, and thanks for listening.